This is a critical message about the future of our children's schools. Public schools in Pennsylvania are at risk, including both public charter schools and traditional public schools. There is new legislation threatening our schools as we know them, and we need your help. Hi, I'm Kristen Bishop, the elementary principal at the Avon Grove Charter School. Some of you might know me because your child started their charter experience at the Early Learning Center. This is where we learned to read, graduated from kindergarten, performed in a bug show, painted, played with new friends, and much, much more. We need our community more than ever to help save our special neighborhood school. I'm asking you to do three simple things. Watch this short video and learn the facts. Share this information with your friends and neighbors. District families should know what's going on too. Contact your state legislators. We need to make it clear to our legislators that they should not pass these bills. I'm confident that the legislators don't understand the real ramifications of these bills. They are voting without educating themselves on the facts. Here's the situation in a nutshell. The Pennsylvania State Legislature is proposing to significantly cut funding for special needs students at public charter schools, but not for those same students at traditional public schools. In another bill, the legislature is also proposing to eliminate funding for teacher pensions at public charter schools, while continuing that funding for traditional public school teachers. In total, these two proposals will result in a 24% cut to public charter school funding. To make things worse, Governor Corbett's current education bill echoes most of the harmful elements of these bills. A far cry from the educational choice that he promised us in his election campaign. We simply can't afford a 24% cut. We don't run the school with a large reserve fund. We tighten our belts and we make so much out of so little, like most public schools. In 1997, Pennsylvania passed a law providing school choice by funding public charter schools. These bills threaten to make an end run around that law and yank the funding out from under the public schools that they created. What is especially frustrating is that these bills treat students in public charter schools. Yes, we are a public school as second class citizens. We are mandated to follow the same rules as our sending school districts. Whether they are charter or traditional, they are both public schools. Why should one student receive less state funding than the other because he or she attends a charter school? That's not just immoral, it's unconstitutional. It's not just charter schools that will be affected. If these bills snuff out public charter schools, the students in those schools will flood into traditional public schools, schools that are already grappling with too little funding and not enough space. These bills are not just bad for charter schools, they're bad for everyone. There are just over 1,500 students in the Avongrove Charter School system. There are just over 5,000 students in the Avongrove Traditional Public Schools. How many more students are you willing to accept in your child's class? And how much more are you willing to pay in taxes to build more classrooms? Our staff makes significantly less than the district teachers. They work so hard at the charter school because they love this environment for kids. They don't deserve more cuts. It's all just political and I'm disgusted. This school is my world. I will fight for my dedication. <laughs> this school is my world. I will fight for my dedicated, hardworking staff my kids that attend Avon Grove Charter School and your kids. I want choice in my child's education, do you? This all seems pretty heavy, but there's good news here. This legislation has not yet been passed. It's going to be voted on by our state legislators, the legislators that we elected, legislators that probably want to get elected again. There's lots you can do. There's letter writing campaigns, there's a rally in Harrisburg on June 9th, there's phone calls you can make, Check out our website and see how you can get involved. There's so much that our community can do. Go to agcharter.org forward slash bricks and mortar to find out how to make your voice heard. Have a voice. Don't let them give your tax dollars to educate someone else's kids.